Good afternoon, everyone. I'm John Cochran, coordinator of Chapter Services and Expansion. On behalf of the International Headquarters staff and the International Executive Council, I'd like to welcome you all to our second ever virtual award ceremony. Today, we are acknowledging and recognizing chapters and brothers who have contributed greatly to the fraternity throughout this past year. You'll see the winners of tonight's Certificates of Achievements on the screen throughout the awards webinar. Winners will be sent their awards upon confirmation shipping addresses via email at a later date. Without further ado, let's get started. The Certificates of Achievement are awarded to chapters for their outstanding successes in each of their respective categories. For scholarship, the recipients are the New York Capita chapter at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute and the Ohio Alpha Epsilon Colony at The Ohio State University. For ritual, the recipients are the New York Capita chapter at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute and the Virginia Alpha Psi chapter at Christopher Newport University. For risk management, the recipient is the New York Capita chapter at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. For recruitment, the recipients are the New York Capita chapter uh, at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute in the Ohio Alpha Epsilon Colony at The Ohio State University. For philanthropy, the recipients are the Indiana Alpha Theta chapter at Indiana University, the New York Alpha Pi chapter at Stony Brook University, the New York Alpha Rho chapter at Pace University, the New York Capita chapter at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute, the Ohio Alpha Epsilon Colony at The Ohio State University, the Pennsylvania Gamma Sigma Colony at Pittsburgh University, and the Virginia Lambda Kappa chapter at Roanoke College. For membership education and development, the recipients are the New York Capita chapter at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute and the Ohio Alpha Epsilon Colony at The Ohio State University. For housing, the recipients are the New York Capita chapter at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute and the Ohio uh, Alpha Epsilon Colony at The Ohio State University. For fraternalism, the recipients are the New York Capita chapter at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute and the Ohio Alpha Epsilon Colony at The Ohio State University. For finances, the recipients are the Florida Epsilon Lambda Colony at Florida State University and the Ohio Alpha Epsilon Colony at The Ohio State University. For the elimination of prejudice, the recipients are the New York Alpha Rho chapter uh, from Pace University, the New York Capita chapter at RPI, and the Ohio Alpha Epsilon Colony at The Ohio State University. For community service and civic engagement, the recipients are the Virginia Lambda Kappa chapter at Roanoke College, the New York Kappa Ta chapter at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute, the Ohio Alpha Epsilon Colony at The Ohio State. For campus engagement, the recipient is the Virginia Lambda Kappa chapter at Roanoke College. For athletics and wellness, the recipient is the New York Kappa Ta chapter at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. For alumni relations, the recipients are the New York Kappa Ta chapter at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute and the Ohio Alpha Epsilon Colony at The Ohio State University. Congratulations again to all the recipients of the Certificates of Achievement. The Certificate of Recognition are awarded to undergraduate brothers for outstanding services to the fraternity. Brothers were evaluated based on their involvement in chapter athletics, contributions to chapter scholarship, service, and leadership to the fraternity, contributions to the chapter's community service and philanthropy, and any other contributions the undergraduate has made uh, towards the success of his chapter. From our Florida State Colony, Brother Andrew Colvin. From our Frostburg State Chapter, Brothers Michael Hollingsworth and Jacob Sears. From our Stony Brook Chapter, Brother Declan Graham. Uh, from our Pace Chapter, Brother Gerardo Gomez. From our St. John's Chapter, Brother John Calix. From our Drexel Chapter, Brother Joe Galenti. From our uh, Virginia Commonwealth Colony, Brother David Robbins. From our Virginia Tech Chapter, Brother Shane Burke. Congratulations to all brothers who were named. Your contributions this past year are greatly appreciated. All of you are here because your chapter chose you, and alumnus saw potential in you, or you took the personal challenge to make your chapter better. Thank you for making a commitment to continue bettering yourself and bettering our brotherhood. As one of the core values of the fraternity, it is essential that our undergraduate men strive for excellence in their pursuit of knowledge. Tonight, we recognize those men who have gone above and beyond in their academic achievements. The scholarship key is awarded to graduating seniors who have accumulated a 3.3 GPA or higher on the 4.0 scale, or its equivalent. Congratulations to the following brothers. From our Florida Epsilon Lambda Colony at Florida State, brothers Charlie Tobin, Andrew Colvin, and Brandon Townsend. From our Ohio Alpha Epsilon Colony at The Ohio State University, brothers Kevin Baum, Michael Haber, Harrison Wright, Nathan Shelby, Jacob Rutan, Bryce Metzger, uh, Rainier Yano, uh, Bashir Prima, and David Bethel. From our Pennsylvania Alpha Delta chapter at Temple University, Brother Clayton Moeller. From our Virginia Alpha Psi chapter at Christopher Newport University, Brother Jonah Peters. Congratulations, gentlemen. It's now my pleasure to introduce Brian Moore. Hi, my name is Brian Moore. I'm a Chapter Services and Expansion Coordinator with Pi Omega Phi IHQ. The recruitment distinction award is given annually to the chapter that best demonstrates the ability to implement and execute the ideas and principles of dynamic recruitment. This chapter, 
explains dynamic recruitment as the ability for brothers to make the most of off-seasons while still building genuine connections with potential new members. We commend this chapter on their dedication to 365 recruitment and the building of brotherhood bonds that has led to their great success. This chapter has also grown its names list by 1,300 names and initiated 42 new brothers this past year, almost doubling in size. The winner of the 2020-2021 Recruitment Distinction Award is the Ohio Alpha Epsilon Chapter at Ohio State University. Congratulations, gentlemen, on all your hard work. Now, to the Chapter Improvement Award. This past year, three groups demonstrated exceptional growth in operational functions, including academics, recruitment, finance, campus involvement, service to community, risk management, and alumni relations. Therefore, we recognize them with a Chapter Improvement Award. It is my privilege to recognize the New York Kappa Tau Chapter at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute, the VA Lambda Kappa Chapter at Roanoke College, and the Florida Epsilon Lambda Colony at Florida State University. Please join me in a round of snaps to recognize all their efforts this past year. Congratulations, gentlemen. And now for the Campus Scholastic Award. The Campus Scholastic Award is presented annually to the chapters with the highest grade point average of all IFC fraternities on their respective campuses. For spring 2020, we recognize the New York Alpha Pi chapter at Stony Brook University for all of their academic achievements. Congratulations, gentlemen. It is now my pleasure to introduce the Isidore Halpern Memorial Scholarship Award. Isidore Halpern was a 1917 graduate from NYU and was president of the International Fraternity. During his active years in international leadership, he stressed high scholastic achievement. The Isidore Halpern Scholarship Award is given to the chapter of Pylum Defy that has the highest scholastic rank of all chapters, regardless of their rank on campus over the course of the previous academic year. This year's winner, with an outstanding GPA of 372 for the 2020 calendar year, is Ohio Alpha Epsilon Colony at Ohio State University. Congratulations, gentlemen. It's truly outstanding. Now, to recognize chapters for operations. Some chapters distinguish themselves throughout the course of the academic year as very well-rounded and operationally excellent. This year's applicant pool proved to be a highly competitive one, and with that, I am pleased to recognize the following two chapters with the outstanding chapter operation certificates for the 2020-2021 academic year. Congratulations to the New York Capital Chapter at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute, as well as the Ohio Alpha Epsilon Chapter at Ohio State University. Among these two, there was one chapter whose operations went a step above and went on to receive the Chapter Operations Award. Congratulations to the New York Capital Chapter at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute for all of the hard work you have demonstrated this past year. It's truly, truly outstanding. Now, to Executive Director Ian Lowe with scholarships. I'm Ian Lowe, and I have the honor and privilege of serving our fraternity as Executive Director. It's really my privilege and my honor to be able to present the Educational Foundation Scholarships. But just before that, a quick word. I, I'm sorry I couldn't be present in real time with you for the awards and the virtual House of Delegates meeting. As the staff has probably shared with you, I'm also a captain in the United States Air Force Reserve. And unfortunately, this time overlapped with my monthly Air Force requirements. Although I couldn't be with you in real time, I did wanna participate. So please excuse my attire and this background. But most importantly, the foundation scholarships. Our educational foundation has the ability to present scholarships to worthy undergraduate brothers. It's the alumni brothers that donate that can ensure our undergraduate brothers then have scholarships to help them complete their degrees. I'm excited to announce the following brothers as this year's recipients of an educational foundation scholarship. First, from Adelphi University, we've got three, Brandon Kahn, Antonio Lopez, and Jason Menjivar. From Drexel University, Joseph Galante and Peter Sweeney. From Florida Institute of Technology, Austin Sassini and Max Wolverton. From Indiana University, Yuzhwal Yadav. From Ohio State, Veer Kaushik. From Penn State University, Jason Nusseroni and Eamon Powers. From Purdue University, Brandon Dimitri. 
from Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute, Jacob Debankov and Luke Kovelson. From Temple University, Clayton Moeller. From the University of Cincinnati, Cole Williams. From the University of Florida, we have three recipients, Ryan Bermudez, Logan Clyatt, and Harrison Friedman. From the University of North Carolina, Kean Watkins. From the University of Pittsburgh, Owen Price. From the University of the Sciences in Philadelphia, Kashev Patel. And lastly, we have two recipients from the University of Virginia, Phil Hom and Jacob Womack. Also, from the University of Wisconsin, we have Ryan Peters, and from West Virginia University, Bennett Roth. Congratulations to all of our recipients. The total amount of scholarships awarded for this past year was $32,000, a big round of snaps to all of our recipients and to the donors who contributed that made this all possible. Now, I want to present the Jack Buchheite Interchapter Travel Award. But first, a little bit about Jack. Jack was serving as the leader of our headquarters staff when he lost his life tragically while traveling on fraternity business. It was December of 1960 and Jack had been in Ohio supervising the charterings of three chapters that we gained through the merger with Beta Sigma Tau. He had just completed his work and he was boarding or he had boarded the Trans World Airlines Flight 266. It was December 16th and they, he was heading back to New York. At about 10.30 a.m. while over New York, United Airlines DC-8 collided with Jack's plane. Tragically, all 134 people on both planes lost their lives. At that time, it was the worst disaster in civil aviation history. Jack was just 27 years old. Each year, to remember and honor Jack, we present this award named in his honor. Again, it's the Jack Buchheit Inner Chapter Travel Award. This award goes to an undergraduate chapter that accumulated the most fraternal travel miles over the previous academic year. Now, this past year was difficult with COVID to do things like travel, but we did have a chapter that traveled and that we're gonna recognize. This year, we present the award to the Maryland Alpha Omicron chapter at Frostburg State University. To note from their travels, they went to West Virginia University in the spring to help initiate our refounding father class of 43 men at West Virginia University. We needed Frostburg to participate in that way and we're so thankful that they did. Again, congratulations to our brothers from Frostburg State University. The William Snap Melnicker Community Service Award will be presented next. William Melnicker, nicknamed Snap, was a 1916 graduate of our Cornell University chapter. He was the Pylam brother who kept our international fraternity organized and operational during World War II. He was the past president of the international fraternity and he placed a high importance on community involvement for our chapters. Now due to his contributions and his passion for community service, this award was named in his honor. The chapter receiving this award uh, this year, it's an extra round of snaps because like the previous award, it's hard. It was really hard to do things this past year given COVID restrictions. But despite that, this chapter accrued over 200 hours of community service. And they maintained community relationships with a bunch of organizations, including but not limited to Feeding America, Habitat for Humanity, and the American Red Cross. The 2021 William Snap Melnicker Community Service Award 
is going to the Virginia Lambda Kappa chapter at Roanoke College. Congratulations. Next is the Jules Zanard Elimination of Prejudice Award. First, a little bit about Jules. Jules served as the fraternity's international president. He also served as the Educational Foundation president and was, and was even the chairman of the Big Pie chapter for a period of time. He is one of very few brothers to have received what we call the trifecta of awards, the Diamond Ship Council Key, the Big Pie Award, and the Edward Goldman Alumnus Achievement Award. Now, the reason that this award is named after Jules really goes back to his college days and his early adulthood. You see, in college, he was an outstanding athlete. He starred in both baseball and soccer at the University of Wisconsin. In soccer, he was at an all-American level. And he was so good that he was named to the 1936 US Olympic team. However, when the Olympic vessel arrived in Germany for the Berlin games, Jules was prevented from disembarking. Jules was Jewish. And the coaches feared that it would be dangerous for any Jewish players to compete in Hitler's Nazi Germany. Obviously a devastating blow. But Jules used this experience to drive and dedicate the rest of his life. And he did so in a variety of ways, fighting for justice and eliminating prejudices. The Jules Leonard Elimination of Prejudice Award is given to the chapter that commits themselves to promoting the mission and vision set by our founding fathers to eliminate prejudice and exemplified through Jules' life as well. So it's my honor to present this year's award to the Ohio Alpha Epsilon chapter at Ohio State University. This chapter, they packed backpacks for the homeless this year. They led informative conversations on microaggressions impacting marginalized groups. And they led a social media campaign to allow people to share their stories in a virtual wall of prejudice event that saw more than 260 participants. They also coordinated additional events throughout the semester, even uh, within COVID protocols, and they were able to raise over $600 for the Elimination of Prejudice Foundation. Again, Congratulations to our brothers from Ohio State. And now to Sean Austin, who will introduce the George A. Beck Outstanding Chapter Award. My name is Sean Austin, and I serve as the Director of Expansion for Pi Lambda Phi Fraternity. It is now time to recognize the winner of the George A. Beck Outstanding Chapter Award. Before I announce the recipient, let me share with you a bit about George Beck and why this award is named in his honor. George was initiated into our University of Virginia chapter on April 6, 1940. He served as house manager, treasurer, and Rex. He was also involved in both purchasing and finishing UVA's first house and their current house. Prior to joining the professional staff, George was president of the Pi Lambda Phi Endowment Foundation and a member of the International Executive Council. During his time as councilman and president of the endowment fund, George worked with many of the legends of our fraternity, those with named awards that you've heard today. In 1965, George was awarded the Diamond Chip Council Key, one of the highest alumni awards given for service to the fraternity. The following year, George became the Executive Secretary of Pi Lambda Phi. Between 1966 to 1992, George served our fraternity as the leader of the professional staff. In his roles at the international office, George was instrumental in founding close to 60 chapters. Generations of brothers remember George not only as the leader of our headquarters staff, but also as a brother who symbolized the greatness of Pi Lambda Phi. His profound impact on so many is immeasurable. After his retirement from headquarters staff, George remained very active with the fraternity. He established and personally funded the scholarship in his name. In addition, 
George was involved with the Fraternity Executives Association and the North American Interfraternity Conference for many years. He even served as a director on the North American Interfraternal Council. He was the recipient of Theta Chi's Chapter Altar Award for Interfraternal Excellence, and he proudly wore the North American Interfraternity Conference Gold Medal, the NIC's highest award. Although George passed away in 2015, his spirit lives on. This award is presented annually to the chapter of Pylon Defy that earns the most points throughout the awards process, thus the chapter with the most excellent operations. I am proud to announce that this year's recipient of the George A. Beck Outstanding Chapter Award is the New York Capital Chapter from Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. A few highlights from their year. RPI developed and executed a dynamic 365 recruitment strategy and welcomed 29 new brothers this past academic year, finishing with 55 brothers. They volunteered over 100 hours of service to their community. They adopted a COVID risk prevention housing plan that helped the chapter avoid any outbreaks. They maintained a brother's keeper system to ensure brothers during the pandemic were looked out for. They increased alumni relations efforts to ensure alumni were re-engaged during the pandemic, and they maximized the ritual experience with a debrief after each ritual to ensure that all members understood the meaning behind each ritual. Please join me in a round of snaps to recognize their efforts. And now for the Rayford Johnson Upsilon Achievement Award. As a versatile athlete, Rayford Johnson was drawn to the decathlon. In 1954, he competed in his first meet as a freshman at UCLA. His rapid improvement in the event impressed all peers, and he broke the world record in just his fourth competition. While at UCLA, Rafer also joined Pylon Defy, becoming the first African-American to join an NIC fraternity at UCLA. In Mexico City, 1955, Rafer won the title at the Pan American Games. Then, in 1960, at the Summer Olympics in Rome, he took the gold. The Rayford Johnson Award is our highest undergraduate individual award. It is awarded annually to that brother who most exemplifies the outstanding qualities of Rayford Johnson in the areas of athletics, scholarship, service to the community, service to institution, and service to the fraternity. This year's recipient of the Rayford Johnson Upsilon Achievement Award is... Charlie Tobin from the Florida Epsilon Lambda Colony at Florida State University. Charlie has been a club swim team member for the last two years, a leading scorer on the intramural soccer team, and second for the intramural volleyball team. He actively participates in community service events around campus and through the fraternity to assist low socioeconomic status children. He served as a prolocutor for his chapter and maintained a 3.5 cumulative GPA. There is no doubt that Charlie has made significant contributions to his chapter, his campus, and his community, creating quite the legacy. Congratulations, Brother Tobin. A round of snaps to you. Having concluded the undergraduate awards, we would now like to recognize chapters that have excelled in recruitment and in growth. Growing Pi Lam Defy is a rewarding duty accomplished through strong recruiting, meaningful educational experiences, and healthy chapter operations. These principles together contribute to new member retention and growing our fraternity to ensure that we are able to continue fulfilling our fraternal purpose. We want to recognize the chapter or colony that has initiated the most men this past academic year. This chapter initiated 49 men and we recognize their significant achievements and contribution to the continued growth of our organization. Congratulations to the Florida Delta Chapter at the University of Florida, and go Gators. We also want to recognize the largest chapter or colony that had the most undergraduate brothers this past year. Growing Pylam Defy today through recruiting and educating young men on the Pylam way will ensure that we are able to continue fulfilling our fraternal purpose. These brothers finished the year with 115 members and we recognize their significant achievements. Congratulations to our brothers from the Virginia Omicron Zeta chapter at Virginia Tech. And now to Assistant Executive Director Calvin Carey for the Advisor and Alumni Awards.
Good afternoon, everyone. The Outstanding Chapter Coach Award recognizes the top chapter coach of all PyLAM chapters. The Outstanding Chapter Coach is someone who is dedicated to helping the chapter and the members they coach succeed. They're also someone who is heavily involved with the chapter coaching board and or the Alumni Association. It is my honor to congratulate brother Rob Kyrus, coach from the Ohio Alpha Epsilon Colony at The Ohio State University. I have an excerpt from his nominators. Rob has done an incredible job of embracing his role as CCB chairman. He has served as the point of contact between the chapter and the coaches board. Before each semester, he organizes multiple planning sessions where he challenges the executive board to make extensive one-year plans and SMART goals. He checks in on a regular basis, offering help of any kind, and works with the RECs to host mid-semester reviews and the goals that they outlined before the chapter. He recently worked to fill our board and put us in a great position for next academic year. Thank you, Rob, for your relentless efforts in guiding the Ohio Alpha Epsilon Colony at The Ohio State University. Now for the Outstanding Campus Coach Award. The Outstanding Campus Coach Award recognizes the top campus coach of all PyLAM chapters. A campus coach is someone who specifically supports a chapter and is a faculty or staff member of the campus or a nearby campus. This year, it is my honor to congratulate Ashley Daniels from Frostburg State University. Ashley has proven to be an essential part of the PyLAM family at Frostburg State. Through her counsel and commitment to PyLAM's values, she has proved to be a positive chapter influence on the Brotherhood and through encouraging the heart to the chapter. Thank you, Ashley, for continuing to provide support on campus and support the guidance to our brothers at Frostburg State University. And now for the Outstanding Campus-Based Professional Award. The Outstanding Campus-Based Professional Award recognizes the most outstanding campus-based professional from an institution where a PyLAM chapter is located. Regardless of their specific title on campus, this individual who is responsible for Greek life on their campus is someone who goes above and beyond to help not only PyLAM chapters and its members, but also the entire Greek community. It is my honor to congratulate Hunter Hartwig of Ohio State University. Our chapter shared this from, for Hunter. Hunter has been a supportive figure throughout our Ohio State chapter since its refounding in 2018. He has consistently maintained a great relationship between our chapter and sorority and fraternity life at OSU. He specifically helped our chapter ensure step live-in requirements are enforced and in finding a house mom for the last academic year. Hunter also took initiative to our big housing decision recently by acquiring useful information regarding several properties on campus to help us make an educated decision. Thank you, Hunter Hartwig. We are honored to have you help guide our Ohio Alpha Epsilon chapter to success. And now on to Certificate of Merits. The Certificate of Merit Award is awarded to an alumnus brother who has rendered meritorious service for a period of years to the international fraternity or to a chapter or colony. This includes advising and mentorship of an undergraduate chapter, involvement and contributions to the various strategic plan initiatives of Pilot Defined Fraternity, involvement and contributions to the IEC and various other committees, involvement and contributions to the Educational Foundation, and any other positive contributions made by the alumnus. Congratulations to the following recipients. Joey Heck from the Florida Delta chapter, Rob Kyrus from the Florida Delta chapter, Daniel Weissman from the California Upsilon chapter, Barry McGee from the Indiana Alpha Theta chapter, Antoine Harper from the Maryland Alpha Omicron chapter, John Palisitz from the Maryland Kappa Delta chapter, Andrew Bollinger from the Pennsylvania Alpha Delta chapter, Stephen Bass from the Pennsylvania Omega Gamma chapter, Stephen Cole from the Virginia Omega Alpha chapter, David Temple from the Virginia Omega Alpha chapter, and Patrick Spanner from the Washington Epsilon Alpha chapter. Congratulations, Fratres, and thank you for your continued commitment to our brotherhood, not for years, but a lifetime. The council key is the highest award for a brother who has provided meritorious service over a number of years. In order for a brother to be eligible to receive a council key, they must have already received at least three certificate of merits. This year, it is my pleasure to congratulate Mike Mabinay from the Pennsylvania Alpha Delta chapter. Mike has put in hours of his time upon retiring from running the Educational Foundation Scholarship Program for the last two years and seen over $60,000 awarded in scholarships. He also has helped ensure that his chapter lives up to their slogan, the house that leads. 
Mike has committed his last two decades to giving back to our brotherhood and paying it forward to the next generation of Pilam men. Congratulations and thank you, Mike Mabinay. Now for the Gold Certificates of Merit. The Gold Certificate of Merit is awarded to an alumnus brother who has previously received a council key and has continued showing their support for the fraternity. This year, we are honored to award the Gold Certificate of Merit to Dave Feckman. Dave has donated his time and resources developing the foundation's strategic initiatives and technological programs to formulate the initiatives and assist in making them successful. Thank you, Dave, for your continued commitment to our brotherhood's motto, not for years, but a lifetime. To our winners, congratulations again, and a great round of snaps for all of these men that were nominated to our entire brotherhood. We at Pylon Defy Fraternity Headquarters are looking forward to this coming fall semester and to the future of our brotherhood. This concludes our award celebration. Thank you all again for your contributions to the fraternity, and we thank you for watching the second ever virtual award ceremony. We look forward to another successful academic year. Lead courageously. Goodbye.